Pilgrim's arrival in America, marked by resistance to bathing, historical accounts reveal. When the Mayflower Pilgrims arrived in Plymouth in the early 17th century, they were met with a stark cultural contrast and hygiene practices. Historical accounts from Native Americans, including the Patuxet survivor Tisquantum, better known as Squanto, note that these Europeans did not bathe regularly. Despite Squanto's attempts to encourage them to adopt more frequent washing habits, the pilgrims resisted. A professor emeritus of history at the University of British Columbia explains that bathing as you and I know it was very, very uncommon among Western Europeans until in the later part of the 18th century. This aversion to bathing transcended social classes. With even Louis XIV, Louis XIV the 17th century king of France, reportedly taking only three baths in his lifetime. People might wash their faces and hands occasionally, but full body bathing was rare and often considered unhealthy and immodest. In the 17th century, the concept of cleanliness in Western Europe was not linked to water. Instead, colonists maintained hygiene by regularly changing their linen undergarments, which they believe absorb the body's impurities. These white linens visible around the collar signaled the wearer's cleanliness and moral purity. The cleaner and whiter the linens, the cleaner the person. Bathhouses existed in the colonies, but their use was primarily medicinal or recreational for the wealthy. For instance, the royal governor of the colony of Virginia used his bathhouse to cool down during hot weather and Louis the XIV's rare baths were taken on his doctor's advice. Native Americans, including the Wampanoag, had different hygiene priorities. They bathed openly in rivers and streams and maintained superior dental hygiene compared to the Europeans. Methods included using wooden chew sticks, chewing fresh herbs like mint, and rubbing charcoal on their teeth. In contrast, Europeans often did not brush their teeth and had diets detrimental to oral health. The lack of hygiene among the colonists had dire consequences for the Native Americans. The introduction of European diseases to which the Native populations had no immunity led to catastrophic losses. Historians estimate that more than 90% of the Native people in coastal New England died from European diseases before the Pilgrims' arrival in 1620, with millions more affected in the following decades. This cultural and hygienic divide underscores the significant and often tragic impacts of European colonization on Native American societies.